What up, Jeffrey with all my Bitcoin renegades. And today we're gonna to do a short video on how internet computer changes the traditional data storing system. Now, Amazon Web Services uses the cloud to store a lot of data, but it can be expensive, you can get hacked, and there is a lot of downside to having your stuff stored on the Amazon cloud. One, they take all your information and store it in a data system. Two, it costs a lot of money to use Amazon Web Services over time. Now, internet computer completely fixes this problem. Problem. Now, other decentralized systems have attempted to fix this problem before by storing data on chain. So basically what they do is they take data, they store it on chain, and just like the cloud, it is able to be retrieved and used when they need it. Now, that costs a lot of money, and I'm gonna go in to show you in this video exactly how much in each one of these, and show you how cheap it is for the internet computer when it finally comes to its turn to show its amazing awesomeness. So let's take a look right now and see what Dominic was talking about with this data storing. You know, the 99% of the DAP or the centralized services really running on the cloud. You know, the data's in the database and the web server serving the content and there's some DAP code there. Um, the problem with that is, um, you know, the cloud can ban the DAP and we've seen that already, you know, with, with Parler, it wasn't a DAP, it was a social media site. Amazon Web Services didn't like the um, sort of political leanings of the service and they banned it. Um, and hackers who get into the cloud account can um, steal tokens. Um, and potentially, of course, if something goes wrong with that you know, account, the cloud could even just delete the data. Now, now with respect to hackers getting into cloud accounts and ste stealing the um, tokens, that, that's already happened um, a, a few months ago. Badger Dow lost $130 million because the hackers got it. So that is talking about the traditional Amazon system and how it's vulnerable to attacks. It is vulnerable to um, them stealing your tokens and just charging you crazy amounts of money to store your data. And it's not even safe. Now, these are going to be the actual figures and numbers from the different data and how much it costs on each blockchain. We already know that Amazon can, you know, have your hat, your uh, token stolen and you can um, be hacked and all of that other stuff and they take your data and all that. So what we're going to look in here is the different cost for storing data on the blockchain. And he goes over this really good. So in the following comparisons, um, you know, uh, we acknowledge that, you know, blockchains have different designs, but we wanted to show you quite how different they could be. So the big um, block on the left is the relative cost of storing a gigabyte of data on the Ethereum blockchain. That's Ethereum version one, which is still proof of work. And it costs about a hundred million dollars. It varies. I think today it's about 60, but it's been as high as $300 million for a gigabyte. A hundred million dollars for a gigabyte? A hundred million dollars. Oh my gosh. That must mean internet computers got to be at least a couple million, right? Let's see. On the right is the relative cost of storing a gigabyte of data on the Solana blockchain for a year when the price of, of, of one sol is, is $100. $50. So the ratio is um, 1 to 190. So Solana, it's a very different kind of blockchain to Ethereum, but Solana has um, a, you know, improved efficiency or at least reduced the cost of storing data on the blockchain by 190 times. Now let's zoom into the Solana block and compare it to the internet computer. By the way, I just want to point out it's $522,000 a gigabyte. It is still a lot better than Ethereum, but it still costs way too much money to be um, stored. So obviously, internet computer isn't millions because this is $522,000 for Solana. And as you see on the side over there, we're going to go into this. That's how much it costs for internet computer. Just wait. All right. So the internet computer block is um, being pointed to by that orange arrow. If you can see it, it is there. It's only about three pixels by three pixels. Oh, and yeah, um, you there. might need a sort of high resolution screen to see it. <laughs> um, while the cost of storing a gigabyte of data on Solana is 
um, about half a million dollars per gigabyte per year. The cost of storing a gigabyte of data on the internet computer is about five dollars a gigabyte a year. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. Did you just hear that? Ethereum is one hundred million dollars to store data. Solana is $522,000 to store one gigabyte of data for one year. Same with Ethereum, one gigabyte of data for one year. Now, if you go to internet computer blockchain and you want to store one gigabyte of data, not going to cost you a hundred million, not going to cost you half a million. It's going to cost you $5 per gigabyte per year. That's why internet computer is going to be the biggest blockchain. It is going to outperform Amazon. It's going to outperform all of that other stuff. So I am glad I never went to work for Amazon. I think Definity is a way better company. I think they offer things that people need. It's decentralized so nobody can just go in and steal your stuff. Nobody can hack your information. Nobody can steal any of your stuff. It is all decentralized, on chain, ran by code, not human beings. Beings. The code only fails if the human fails. So that whoever wrote the code, it is flawless. So for now, we have a big upper hand across all of the market with ICP. This is awesome. I'm going to go in and show more stuff from the Supernova Hackathon, little tidbits of things that I think you need to hear that are going to change the way we perceive internet computer, web three, and the new decentralized internet. It's going to be awesome, guys. All right. That being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang.